Hello, welcome back to my channel. So let me just clear this out. Um, I have received in my previous videos on the comments that I say the word, well, the phrase, so yeah, a lot. And yeah, it is true. I do say, so yeah, a lot. And that's because it's just like my vocabulary. So that's just like the way I talk. So I can't help it. If I say so, yeah, a lot. Sometimes it's because like, I don't know what to say or it's just because that's just the way I talk. So yeah. Sorry, I'm not sorry. So yeah. Okay, so now the story of this video so this happened i believe on february i don't really remember if it was february or january around that time it was like the beginning of the year that's for sure but yeah so this is a story of someone trying to scam my family because it was like on a whole level but it was mainly they were trying to mainly scam my grandma so it's my grandma from my that side and I've heard stories that this had happened to my other uncles and like basically like some of my family have been um with, like victims of this and I'm pretty sure there's like a lot of people that are being victims of scammers and I have seen videos of the IRS videos of, like people trying to get like like scam other people innocent people which is not right so in our case actually this um so it started with my grandma was just recently here like back then like i'm february if i'm not mistaken so she came over and then she received a phone call like on the first days that she was here and usually when grandma's here like everyone like family members in my area always comes to our house or like if she's in another uncle's house we go to her house like their house so we could see her and stuff so she was staying in my house so my uncles like were coming over and like to see her and all that but earlier in that day she received the call of someone a nephew from um like saying like oh hi grandma like it's me your your not nephew like your grandchild or no your nephew it was nephew yeah oh, it's me your nephew and my grandma's like what nephew um the guy was like oh what like it's me your nephew that you haven't seen in a long ass time so that's how they get you they get you like that like they sorry about the rooster but that's how they get you they like say like oh this is me like I'm, you haven't seen me in a long time so obviously they're gonna fall for it so my grandma's like oh I, like i think it's um my nephew chava or yeah chava and so little story is my dad haven't seen that cousin uh and since they were like 12 or 13 so we they recently reconnected back in november my dad and his cousin so they recently reconnected and then i guess he recently reconnected with my grandma i think like he's yeah so a mess like they've been reconnecting here and there because they haven't seen each other or like talked since they were like 12 like last time in Mexico so grandma's all like oh it's you Chava and all that so that's how they got her and they're like oh yeah I'm gonna go see you in San Diego and all that like I'm on my way so yeah they were on the way and then that's when my uncle one of my uncles comes over and then they're all talking and then my grandma was like, you could tell she was excited because she hadn't seen him in a long time. Um, I don't know when was the last time she saw him, but with my dad, the last time he saw his cousin was when they were 
um, 12, like I said. So, yeah, like, she was, you could tell she was really excited and it, it was sad. So, like, my grandma, was, like, they would, like, call here and there. Like, he would call and then, like, he would, he would not and then he would call. And then, like, oh, yeah, I'm on this freeway and all that. And then my uncle, one of my uncles that live around here, he comes over and then my grandma tells my uncle. And my uncle's like, oh, really? I haven't seen him in a long time either. So, like, yeah, they were, like, somewhat happy that they were going to see their cousin that they haven't seen for a long ass time. And, yeah, like... Next thing you know, the nephew calls back saying, oh, I've got in a car accident, like, can you, like, help me out, like, can you send me some money, or, like, yeah, basically, like, trying to scam us, and at first, like, we were, like, kind of falling for it, because my uncle wasn't sure, and then my aunt um, was even saying, like, oh, don't send the money right away. Make sure it's him. And I have, um, they're like my cousins. Yeah, my cousins, because my dad makes, comes out to be like their uncle, because he's cousins with their dad. So they're like my cousins, far away cousins, so. Hey, girls. So anyways. So I have them as friends on Facebook and first thing I do is I um, I try calling them through messenger um, but no answer and then I tried um, also like I messaged them but they didn't respond like right away and then I told my I called my dad telling him that they were supposed to like supposedly his cousin was going to come over um, to see grandma but now they're in a car accident and they're asking for this amount of money, like $2,000, like money. And then that they, they sent us the text of like where they want us to send the money to, like what bank account. So that was kind of like fishy, like, like wouldn't you want us to go like rescue you from the car accident? here in San Diego like you're nearby like we could go and stuff but no they were like telling us oh like yeah send us this amount of money so we could like get everything fixed and then go see you but the account where they were wanting us to send the money was all the way like it was from Mexico so someone from Mexico was trying to scam us basically so yeah so my dad turns out like he ends up calling um his cousin and it turns out that his cousin was still like in his house and like he never said that he was coming over and all that because it was even fishy at the beginning because his cousin would have told my dad that he was coming over so yeah so basically that's when we find out that it wasn't my parents' cousin, it wasn't my grandma's nephew at all. So, yeah, someone tried to scam us. And apparently something like that happened to one of my uncles. Um, so, just be careful guys. If someone's trying to pretend to be a family member, just make sure contact that family to make sure if it is them that are calling because you, you don't want to be scammed you don't, like they're they're tr just trying to um especially if they're from mexico it's mainly people from jail that they're tr like don't ask me how they're even getting their our numbers and stuff or even our names because they know my grandma's like name and stuff and they knew my uncle the one that was like about to be scammed too like his name as well and when they were talking to us like they were they even saw like where i live and so that is creepy so 
yeah just be careful guys don't give out any information at all to anyone if you're not sure it's really them maybe having what the fuck if you haven't speak to them in the longest time just make sure like with like your family just to make sure if it is them so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this um little story and also if you have any story similar to this like people trying to scam you or any of that or any advice for those that have been through it just Leave them down in the comments below and I'll make sure to reply and also help others as well. What is wrong with my voice? Seriously. So yeah. Um, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys have any video requests, just let me know. And this makeup look is already on my channel. So I'll just leave it like here i think it's like on this little eye i'm not sure it's like it's right there and also i will link it down below so yeah i love you guys and i'll see you guys on my next video